Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The US chip ban is expanding, and it has begun to ignore the interests of US chip companies, just to further expand the export control of the chip ban on China. Today, the United States has not only restricted the export of advanced chips and related technologies, but also began to prevent cooperation between Chinese and American companies in the field of chips and semiconductors on a large scale, and also restricted the shipment of semiconductor equipment and materials, and even pulled in allies such as the Netherlands and Japan to conduct export controls together. However, what the United States did not expect was that in order to break the blockade of the US chip ban, China continued to expand its investment in the field of chips and semiconductors. Not long ago, China established the third phase of the China National Chip Semiconductor Investment Fund, investing 344 billion yuan to promote the development of the semiconductor industry. This news made American chip companies very uncomfortable, and what American chip companies did not expect was that the latest data showed that China's annual chip production capacity reached 351.4 billion pieces, and the chip self-sufficiency rate reached 23%. According to public data, in 2023, China's annual chip production capacity will be 351.4 billion pieces, a year-on-year -year increase of 6.9% in 2022, and the number of chip imports will decrease by 58.9 billion pieces, a year-on-year -year decrease of 10.8%, and the chip self-sufficiency rate will reach 23%. The most important thing is that after entering 2024, China's chip production capacity will further expand. In the first quarter of 2024, the domestic chip production capacity reached 98.1 billion pieces, a year-on-year -year increase of 40%. In the first four months of 2024, China's chip production capacity increased by 37.2% again, and the total chip production capacity reached 135.4 billion pieces, with an average of 1.13 billion chips produced every day, which means that the annual production capacity in 2024 is expected to exceed 400 billion pieces. With the further improvement of China's chip production capacity, China's chip imports have also further decreased. In the first four months, the number of chip imports decreased by 21.02% year-on-year, equivalent to 350 billion yuan. This also means that the giants of Maishin, which have always occupied nearly half of the market share, have lost more than 175 billion yuan this time. In order to return to the Chinese market and ship more chips to the Chinese market, the giants of Maishin have also begun to change their faces. Just recently, Intel CEO Kissinger said in an interview, I hope to ship more chips to China. However, Judging from the recent actions of the United States in the chip field, the United States is expected to go all the way in terms of chip bans, and it is estimated that it will be difficult for American chip giants to ship more chips. The most important thing is that from the current situation, the localization of Chinese chips is far from over, and it can even be said that it has just begun. According to estimates by some industry insiders, China will have about 60 wafer fabs by the end of 2024. China currently has 42 wafer fabs, and 18 wafer fabs are expected to be completed this year. This also means that as more and more Chinese chip manufacturers complete the construction of wafer fabs, China's chip production capacity 
will once again reach a new level. The increase in China's chip production capacity also means that the domestic production rate and self-sufficiency rate of chips are constantly increasing, and China is getting closer to the goal of completing 70% of chip localization in 2027. Whether it is SMIC, Huahong Semiconductor, Yangtze Memory, or Changshan Storage, there are a series of capacity expansion plans in the near future. For example, SMIC has invested 170 billion yuan to build four wafer fabs in Beijing, Shanghai, Tianjin and Shenzhen. From the current situation, Chinese chips have entered a period of intensive capacity deployment, that is, the capacity of Chinese chips is in a stage of rapid growth, and a large number of Chinese chip manufacturers are accelerating the construction of wafer fabs. The U.S. plan to restrict the export of advanced chips has indeed succeeded. Due to the lack of support from advanced EUV lithography machines, many industry insiders, including Zhong Pingan of Huawei, believe that it is difficult for Chinese chips to achieve breakthroughs in 5 nanometers and 3 nanometers process technology in a short period of time. However, in terms of advanced processes, China has gradually solved the technical problems and mass production problems of the 7 nanometers process. This also means that chips with 7 nanometers and above processes are getting closer and closer to domestic substitution. The next step is basically to solve the problem of capacity expansion. NVIDIA CEO Huang Renxuan's previous concerns are gradually becoming a reality. Now the chips produced in the United States are facing the embarrassing situation of no market to buy. This has also caused more and more American chip companies to be very uncomfortable and want to seek various ways to ship to the Chinese market. For example, there was news that NVIDIA's AI chips, such as A100, which have been restricted from shipping, are being shipped to the Chinese market through third-party companies in Singapore and other places. AMD has also launched a number of excellent Chinese special edition chips, but due to the review of the US Department of Commerce, it is difficult to ship them in a short period of time. The current situation is that the United States does not want to sell chips, and China does not want to buy American chips, but American chip companies have been trying to ship chips. It is foreseeable that the United States' behavior of disregarding the interests of its own companies is causing dissatisfaction among more and more American chip companies, especially in the context of the rapid development of Chinese chips. Many American chip companies believe that the chip ban is no longer meaningful and are taking various measures to accelerate shipments. Please like if you agree and welcome to forward, leave a message and share.